During the Glow, Ladybug Out, and Dawn of Van Life meetup this past January in Quartzsite, I saw so many van builds and rigs, some very simple and some quite elaborate. I am going to share one of them with you today. The tour today is of a 1998 Toyota 4Runner. The 60-year-old owner, Darlene, is a retired nurse who has really turned this small area of 30 square feet or less into an elegant and functional space that she can set up or break down in an hour or less. Do you believe that? I think you are really going to love her no-build build and all the cool and useful items she has in it. So come on, let's go check it out. Well, hello, Darlene. Hi. I am just wowed by your SUV. This is aesthetically one of the loveliest builds that I've seen. It's kind of a no-build build. It's a very no-build build. <laughs> Can you tell us and tell my Globies a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Darlene. I am a retired NICU nurse. I'm a widow and I have kind of reached a stage where I'm ready to do a little bit of traveling and camping and I wanted to do it in this vehicle. It's a 1998 Toyota 4Runner that I've had for 24 years and I kind of love it. And you were telling me this is a four-wheel drive, right? Yes, it is a four-wheel drive. And you also told me that you have kind of an emotional attachment to this vehicle because it belonged to your husband who passed away seven years. So you just feel a certain kind of feeling about this as you had a lot of really fun adventures and and memories with this vehicle. Yeah, that's true. And I kind of feel like he's here with me when I'm out traveling. That's very cool. So you're out camping and you He'd have He'd be these... kind of laughing his butt off if he could see, see what <laughs> I was doing out here. <laughs> But it's just so aesthetically pleasing, but also you have some very, very cool um, things in here that I think people would love to hear about. So I'm going to see about um, having you move out, and then I'm going to go in and we'll talk about each thing as we go. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about your bed. What exactly is that? It's a trifold, mm -hmm. four-inch memory foam trifold mattress and I have it uh, kind of formed into a chair during the day and at night I fold it down into a bed. I see you have binoculars over there so when you're somewhere that's really interesting or at the beach you can sit there and watch with your binoculars. Yes absolutely I look for little creatures. Okay <laughs> and then you have I guess this is kind of a you were saying you're going for an out of Africa kind of theme kind mm -hmm. of rustic it's it it Everything just blends together so well. Earthy, I guess earthy. Is, yeah, it is. is. The That's what I was going for. Exactly. When you look in here, I thought this is kind of fall earthy kind of. Yeah. I wanted to use a lot of natural materials rather than plastic. Okay. Now you have the rug underneath here, mm -hmm. and then I see over here you have your little kitchen set up. Right. This is my where I kind of keep uh, utensils and pot holders and my little coffee pour over. It really is amazing how much is in here. Every, kind of, everything I need. That's kind of like a bread basket. You said it's you got that at box. a thrift store. I got it at a thrift store as well as this, which is my sink. Okay. And then you have uh, my five gallons of water here with a USB spout. And I see you have it kind of bungee corded in. Right. Okay. Just, yeah. When Sometimes if I'm going to travel very far, I usually it rides shotgun. Okay. Seat belted in. <laughs> okay. And then you have this little rack. And what's on this little rack? Uh, my coffee and uh, paper towels and okay. some soap and spray to clean my dishes with. Wow. And then over here you have kind of a little meditation center. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I keep some things inside the box, mostly like bathroom type of things. And then over here I see... I love your hooks. Now, what is that that the hooks are attached to? This is a, a tree stake 
from the garden center. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's very, very lightweight. And I have it held on with zip ties to the, the hand grips. Oh, I see. So you have the and hand grips. The hand grip here, and then there's one also in the front seat. All and right. And then for just a little extra support, I added a little uh, L bracket. I just slipped it under the molding there. All right. So really, it's no build. You just installed it very easily. Yeah, I didn't add any kind of anything permanent okay. to this vehicle. When I go home, I'll be take everything out and put the car seats back in uh -huh. for my grandkids. <laughs> now I see you have extra storage here that you've you did you build these kind of shelves yeah, here? They're really not much storage. They're really just to, to create a flat surface. Okay. Because the wheel wells are under oh, here. Oh, okay. So you have these on both sides. And while they are are the pre-made shelves from Home Depot uh -huh. that are already pre-finished and everything and I just used L brackets to screw two of them together and they're oh, okay. just kind of resting on the wheel wells and then supported, kind of held in with uh, bungee cords. So two shelves that you connected with L brackets. Mm -hmm. And right. then this one is far enough out so that I do have room to store, there's a fire extinguisher under here Okay. and I can put extra butane under All there. Right. Now, you cook with a butane stove. Let's look right, over here. Right here. Okay. So, you do most of your cooking outside then? Yeah, and I can do it inside as well. I can put this little box okay. right here and put my stove on top. Okay. And sit on my chair and make my coffee in the, oh, so inside. You, so, you put the little box here mm -hmm. with your... Can you do that so we can sure. see what that looks like? Sure. can make my coffee here. Oh, I wow. Can, cook, which is, I, I do very minimal cooking when I'm traveling. Uh, so you can have the back then open so you're getting plenty of air and you can still see what's going on all around you. Oops, the sun is kind of in my background so I might not get the best shot here, but that's really very cool. And then I also kind of use this for my vanity. <laughs> Okay. When I get ready, I can. I have. You have a little mirror there. over. You have a little mirror over there. Can you show that? A mirror here. So you just. Here. Okay. And my water and my little sink. So when I have, I heat my water. I can pour it in the sink. And. So everything is just within easy reach for you. Everything's right here. And how comfortable is that bed? The... I am very comfortable. All right, very and then I see over here, you have your fan over here mm -hmm. it's and plugged in to a, a little small power station down here so that's a, a usb that's a o, o polar fan and is that pretty effective yeah i mean it's been pretty chilly out here so i haven't really needed it but and you have two power stations you have a little one that's what how many this, this small one down here is 200 okay uh i think watt hours is how it Amp hours, I think. Amp hours. Are, and then I have a, a Blue Eddy 715 that is between my cooler and my dry box. Okay, so, and that's what does most of your... Right, and I don't really use much power, so I have more more than I need. I, I have a polar, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, a portable solar panel. Oh, okay, and what wattage is that? It's 100 watts. Okay, and then you have, I see, one of the things I saw that you're using that I really liked was this chair, this blue chair, and I'm just going to show real quick. I can pick this up with literally, actually with one, with one finger. It's so light, and I just really love this. How do you like this chair? I like it. It's very comfortable. One of the things that I really like about it is that it has an extra brace down there so it can support someone who's heavier like me. You just have so many cool gadgets here that are functional and useful and make this small space just really like efficient. a little... I wanted it to be efficient. It's very efficient. And one other thing I wanted to show, that's a USB lantern. Can you take that down and show us? Sure. This is also very lightweight and it's uh, dimmable. And you can charge it by USB. And it has a little cord that plugs in here to the USB, yeah. 
And you were gonna, you were telling me you're gonna look up some of these things and then give me the information uh -huh. so I'll I can, send it to you. so I can add them and on. And this one at, and at night I can just hang it right here. Let me see how light this is. Let me see. As, as far as the weight wise. Oh, it's very very light. Oh wow, I have one, but it's so heavy. It's not, and it's not USB. This is just, you can look, you could really hold this with really two fingers too. So everything in here is light, efficient, power efficient, and just fits in a tiny space. I'm wondering about how- Minimal, I, you know, I, I didn't want to have a lot of stuff. So about how big would you say your actual living space is? Well, I think it's about six feet long and maybe well, I don't think it's much more than four feet across. Say four, four with and a half. The curves of everything. So about twenty-five square feet. Twenty-five, 25 to, 30, to thirty. Thirty square foot, mm -hmm. and you've got a bed, a kitchen, uh, a bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. Now, what do you do for your bathroom? There's a bucket in here. Oh, okay. So you use this bucket. There's a two-gallon bucket, and there's a, a jar inside also. That okay. I, that I use. So I mean, I use the bucket if I absolutely. Have okay. To. So bathroom, kitchen. Uh, meditation area, um, vanity, <laughs> outside cook stove, uh, lightweight chair, and that's packs down really small. Can oh, you yeah. show us how small that packs down to? It's, uh, I can show you the case. That it oh, okay, the case that it comes in. This is the bag that my little table fits in. Oh, okay. So, you so can see how tiny that is. Your table. Now, what about your chair? And the chair, I think I have it inside of into this little tiny oh wow bag. so small efficient easily broken down items that fit into uh, about a 30 square foot or less space and then I see over here you have everything you have a, a mm -hmm. my clothing is in this double bag okay uh, my stove fits perfectly in this bag okay toiletries in here in this backpack then I have a cooler here Okay. Now, is that a plug-in cooler or no? This is a kind of a Yeti type. Cooler. Okay. And there's your Blue Eddy over there, in between your Yeti kind of cooler, your Blue Eddy, and then your dry box. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons that I wanted to do this video was to highlight some of the things that you use that make this such an efficient vehicle. And one of them that I really love was your heating pad. Can you show us that? This is a 12 volt um it's it's made for a front car seat for a driver's seat oh okay so it's a so it's a, a it's car a seat, seat heat a seat warmer mm -hmm. and you use that underneath your sleeping and bag and i put it under my sleeping bag okay and it has you know a little control on the cord and that really keeps you warm and it keeps me toasty oh wow and it doesn't use it very much and power it doesn't use very much power all right, you're going to give us the information on that so I, I can put that in the description so Globies can look that up. Well, Darlene, you just have a really lovely setup. Thank you. And you are, well, where's your next adventure to? Uh, well, this summer I'm going to work my way from Arizona to Washington State and back. Okay, well, you know what? I plan on being in Washington up near, well, actually in Oregon, maybe Washington this summer. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll meet up. connect again. Yeah. And thank you so much. Oh, one thing I forgot. This is your motion detector and solar light. Yes, I have two, one for each side of the vehicle. Okay. So if any thing or anyone comes to the vehicle, including me, mm -hmm. after dark, it comes on. It lights up. I, I have... I have some of those. I really like those. Again, gadget filled with just amazing, innovative gadgets. But, and we're going to look back around here one last time to Darlene's beautiful, beautifully set up, no build SUV build. Thank you, Darlene. And I hope that we will connect again soon and you can tell us about and share some of your journey with us. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. And one thing, how old are you, Darlene? I'm 60. 60. So life doesn't stop at a certain age. It doesn't. No, just getting started. Okay. A new adventure. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, Darlene.